Okay, let's go and find the volume of this cylinder. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. And this particular uh, cylinder, we have some information here. We're being told that the diameter is six inches and the height of the cylinder or the length of the cylinder is 10 inches. So with this information, okay, plus the formula, all right, so we need to know the formula to find the volume of a cylinder. You can actually calculate the volume of the cylinder. Now, I'm not going to give you the formula because I think uh, for most of you out there, if you're like at the high school level or beyond in terms of mathematics, this is a formula you should kind of have kind of semi um, um, committed to your long-term memory. In other words, hopefully you can recall it. Now, there's a lot of formulas you learn in mathematics. Some are uh, going to be used far or less. So, for example, if you're asked to find the surface area of a um, pyramid, for example, that's maybe one formula that I would say, yeah, you know, if you forgot that, that's fine. But something when you're dealing with like spheres or cylinders, well, I would suggest that you want to try to put this into your long-term memory. Anyways, I'm going to show you the formula to this and the correct answer in just one second. But uh, if you think you can do this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct uh, answer in just one second. Then I'm going to show you the formula, and then we're going to walk through how easy it is to find the volume of a cylinder. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. Really is my true calling to help as many people as I possibly can uh, learn mathematics. I'm going to tell you right now, all of you could be successful in math, and I'm especially speaking to those of you that struggle in math. Okay, the, Really, the most important thing you need is to learn from someone you actually understand or whatever you're learning from. Maybe you're learning, you know, using some sort of video program or software or reading some sort of book. But if you're not understanding what's going on, you're going to be kind of wasting your time trying to figure out you know, um, you know, uh, mathematical concepts and principles, right? So uh, math is a technical subject, and the way I like to teach math is in an easy-to-understand, simple way so anyone and everyone can get this stuff without watering down uh, what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that you're getting ready for, something that has math on it, things like the GED, SAT, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, Check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description as well. You absolutely need a, a great pair of notes to study from. Now, hopefully you're taking your own awesome notes. But uh, if you don't have great notes right now, you need to improve those things. But uh, in the meantime, you could use my notes if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the volume of this cylinder. Again, the, uh, the diameter of the cylinder. So let's give you a little bit of a hint here. The diameter is the width of this part, right? Here's a circle and this is a circle. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and define what a cylinder is. We got a circle here and a circle here. A cylinder would be like a can, right? Some sort of can, like a can of soup, a soda can, something like that. So the width of the circle, okay, these end caps, if you will, the top or bottom of it, the width of it is the diameter, okay? So that's what that is. And then the height here would be the length. That's this dimension right there. But let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, at the answer. So here it is, the volume of the cylinder, the exact volume, okay? And you can see here I'm using two different uh, symbols. Here I'm gonna have the equal sign, and here I have these squiggly things. This is approximately, all right? So this is approximately, which means it's an estimate, and this is exact, okay? There is a difference. So the volume of the cylinder, the exact volume is 90 pi inches cubed. Make sure you put in those units of measure. If you just put in 90 pi, for example, uh, and you said, oh, I got this right. Well, some mean math teachers would be like, hmm, you didn't put in the units of measure, so I'm gonna give you eight out of 10 points, and you will not like that, you need to, anytime you're asked uh, uh, to do a area problem, surface area problem, volume problem, you need to put in those final units of measure. Anyways, units of measure here are inches cubed because our dimensions were in inches. And you could use um, uh, your calculator to get some sort of approximation. So for pi, for example, if you um, replace that with 3.14, 
Well, pi is approximately 3. Point, that's really a rough approximation. Uh, so the volume would be approximately roughly 282.6 inches cubed. But anyways, I will accept either one of these answers and give you full credit. And if you got either one of those, let's go ahead and celebrate with a nice little happy face. Oh, that's a terrible happy face. We could fix it up. And A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can show off to your friends and family that you know how to find the volume of a cylinder. Okay, so good job. But again, what do you need to know to do this problem? You need to know the formula. Okay, so if you, if you forgot the formula, let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Okay, so the volume of a cylinder, pretty straightforward stuff. What you need to do is to find the area, okay, of the base. So we're dealing with a circle here, right? So we need to find the area of uh, the base, okay, i.e. the area of a circle. What's the area of a circle? Well, that's pi r squared, and right? that's another formula. Hopefully you remember, so the area of a circle is pi r squared, where r is the radius. So here we're given the diameter, it's being six inches. The radius is um, half of the diameter. It emanates from the center of the circle, so it would be one half the diameter. So it, in this case, it's gonna be what, three inches, okay? All right, so that's what the B is. So the volume, matter of fact, I should just kind of tell you the formula. Boy, I tell you, I was kind of getting ahead of myself here. The volume is base times height, all right? Uh, that is the volume of a cylinder. Volume is base times height. So B, again, is the area uh, of um, the end, okay, one of the ends of the cylinder. All right, so that's that. And then the height is obviously like the length of the cylinder. In this case, it's 10 inches. All right, so pretty straightforward stuff. So let's go ahead and calculate it right now. All right, so the volume is going to be equal to the area of uh, the base, okay, which is pi r squared. Now, remember the diameter where we're given uh, being six inches, okay? Well, we don't need the diameter. We need the radius. So that's going to be one half of uh, the diameter, so that would be three inches. So it's going to be pi r squared, so r is three, so three squared times pi. This right here is the area of the base, so three squared is what? Three times three is nine, so this is nine pi. 10 is our height, right? So we remember right here, where we're told that the height of the cylinder, uh, or the length of the cylinder is 10. So we have nine times pi times 10, nine times 10 is 90, so 90 pi. So if you're asked, and it's very important that you know the language in terms of these questions. So if the question is, find the exact volume uh, of this cylinder, this would be the exact volume. So just leave your answer with pi. That's perfectly acceptable, and it is the most correct answer, okay? Now, if you're asked to uh, find uh, the approximate volume of a cylinder or to give it a decimal approximation, that's when you can go ahead and substitute in for pi an approximation, and you can get various levels of uh, more accurate um, estimations of pi uh, by using your calculator. Okay, but the most basic decimal approximation of pi is 3.14. So it's 90 times 3.14, and you're going to approximately 282.6 inches cubed. Again, we're dealing with inches. All right. So remember, our uh, diameter is in inches. Our height is in inches. And uh, this uh, volume is going to be in inches cubed. Okay. So just so you understand what's going on right here, we're taking the radius and we're squaring it. Okay, so the radius is in inches. So we're going to end up with inches squared right there. And then we're going to multiply by inches again. This would be height. So we get inches squared times inches. So we end up with inches cubed. All right, so that's not a little trivial little thing in terms of units of measure. Got to be very aware of, um, you know, putting those into your final answer. But as you can see, if you know, if you know, the, if you know the formula of these various basic shapes and whatnot, doing these problems hopefully isn't too difficult. But mm -hmm. if you need some assistance, some review with how to find uh, the area, surface area, things like that, I, I would kind of direct you towards one or two courses in my math help program, either uh, my pre-algebra course uh, at the end of a couple, uh, there's, I have a couple chapters at the end of that course that go over surface area, volume, area, all that kind of good stuff at kind of at the basic level. But if you really need something more, um, you know, beyond that, you might want to check out like my full geometry course. Okay, either one of those courses will help you out if you want to continue to study and improve in terms of finding the volume surface area area of various figures. 
Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.